Hello everyone and welcome to an incredible game from yesterday's title Tuesday. It's a round three game between Magnus Carlsen and Polina Shuvalova and uh, Magnus Carlsen won the event with a staggering 10 and a half out of 11. Uh, these are the final standings, but um, yeah, even though uh, that's a very impressive result uh, for, for Magnus, even for Magnus, uh, this is the game that you guys requested uh, from, from round three. So you can see, uh, okay, uh, first he defeated um, uh, Johan Ries, then uh, Raven Sturt, then Polina Shuvalova, then Andrei Drigal, of Ariantari, Nihal Sarin. Only one who got a draw against Magnus is Alireza Firuja. Then he defeated uh, Bullet and Blitz uh, expert Sergei Shigalko. Then Jeffrey Shong. Then Yang Shishtov Duda. And in the final round with the Black Piece, he defeated Levon Aronyan. Uh, but now, why did you guys request this game so much? Well, it features a spectacular finishing move and also it features a line that I'm sure after you watch this game, uh, you will use and abuse uh, to its fullest to win many of your Blitz and Bullet games online. It features a, a very rare line against the Karo Khan. Uh, <clears throat> so let's dive straight into it. So Magnus had the white pieces and he opened with Ponte E4. And uh, if, you, if you've noticed, I've added the clock times. I know you guys have been requesting that. Now, I don't always have access access the clock times for some of the historical games but for online blitz games and if they're if the online if the uh, tournament is uh, uh, played on a digital board I do have access to clock times or if it's an online game I don't mind including them so also you you're free to comment on that do you do you like them do you do you prefer not having them uh, let's check it out so c6 Polina goes for the Karokan defense and now knight the e2 Okay, so not going for the standard the d4 or knight to f3. Uh, against the Karokan, we have d5 and now pawn to e5. Sort of the advanced variation, but without the pawn on d4. We have bishop to f5. Of course, she wants to play e6 and... Um and get her bishop out of the uh, cage. Knight to g3, going after the bishop, bishop g3, uh, bishop g6, and now h4. A sort of the tall variation against the Karo Khan, but without the pawn on d4. And okay, what's the b what's the big deal here? h6, we have pawn to h5 now, challenging the bishop, the bishop to h7, and usually in a tall variation, you would see bishop d3, then bishop captures, queen captures, but here there's a pawn on d2, so you can't really play bishop to d3. You could, however, transpose with um, something like a pawn to d4, pawn to e and then bishop to d3 but not for this game magnus as this is a three minute blitz game magnus plays pawn to e6 and okay it's a known line in the advanced variation um, uh, or, or a known pawn push which you can meet many different ways and i'm going to show you how to treat this if you actually play this with the black pieces you have to play queen to d6 and once white captures you will capture on f7 but it's not a problem your king is very safe here and now after pawn to d4 you will strike with pawn to e5 and a trade uh, is good for black and if you try bishop to d3, then you even advance the pawn to e4, and it will be black who will be asking the questions here. However, after e6, she went for f captures and e6, grabbing the pawn. And now let's see how Magnus handles this position. He plays pawn to d4. We have knight to f6, and now bishop to d3. Okay, she captures. It's very well known that you should do this. Knight to a6, and now knight to d2. We have queen to b6. There is a game where queen to a5 was played in the year 2000. Uh, Josef Pare played it against Laszlo Sa and uh, won a very nice game but here Polina goes for queen to b6 and it is now as of move 11 that we have a completely new game and Magnus's position is already uh, straight up winning so let's see how Magnus does it we have queen to g6 with check uh, king to d7 and now knight to f3 uh, preparing knight to e5 check to take away valuable squares from the black king Queen to b5, stopping Magnus from castling, and now pawn to a4, taking away squares from the black queen. Queen b4, check c3, and queen to b3. We have knight to e5 with check, king to c7, and now Magnus castles. We have pawn to b6. Uh, trying to get some more squares for the black king and maybe uh, get the pieces into the game. Queen to f7 now, going after the e6 weakness. We have rook to d8, as there really is no uh, way to defend the pawn. Now pawn to a5, uh, giving up the pawn to open up the a file for the, for the white rooks. So pawn to b5, and now bishop to f4, threatening all sorts of nasty discoveries towards the black king. So king to b7, and now queen captures on e6, going after that uh, c6 pawn. So rook to d6, attacking the queen and defending the pawn, queen back to f7, and now knight to c7, uh, remaneuvering the knights, trying to get them into the game, now a6 check by Magnus, and you could capture with the knight, but then again, you give the a file to the white rooks, and the black king will uh, just get the, the destroyed here, so king to b6, and now Magnus plays knight to f5, attacking the rook on d6, and you can't really 
do anything about it. Oh, these two squares are covered by the knight. If you put the rook here, then just knight to g6 uh, goes after this rook. And then if you move it, you lose the bishop. So the, you really have to give up something. So she goes queen to c2, gives up the exchange here. Magnus captures it. We have a knight captures on d6. And now e captures on d6. And the position is completely winning for Magnus. He has a beautiful forced checkmate here. Not just one. He has several beautiful checkmates here. Uh, but you guys, of course, will uh, be the judge of that and try to find the most spectacular one. So feel free to pause the video and win the game in the coolest way possible for Magnus while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on finding either Queen Sacrifice. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, Magnus played Queen Captures on F6. Uh, I will uh, I will explain why, but uh, th there's even a nicer one, and that is Queen to D7, offering a Queen like this. Because, okay, it's nice to forcefully give up your Queen, but uh, giving, your, giving up your Queen like this, where your opponent actually has a way of declining it, uh, also, you know, not to throw away. And the point is that now if Knight Captures, Knight Captures on D7 is just checkmate all of the squares are taken away from the black king pawn covers b7 and if you don't capture let's say you capture the knight then you play this very nice queen to c8 move and there is no defense against queen to b7 checkmate uh, but it was not the one that magnus chose uh, after this uh, knight captures on d6 move um, and uh, queen captures on f6 uh, he went for queen captures on f6. Now, of course, if the queen is captured, then knight to d7 is again checkmate. So Polina played d captures on e5. But now Magnus just plays queen captures on e5, going for queen to c7 checkmate. So knight captures on a6. And now how do you go after the black king? Of course, you continue happily sacrificing rook captures on a6 with check, king captures and rook to a1 with check. And he was in this position on move 29 that Polina Shvalova resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here. Uh, you either start giving up pieces like queen to a4, or bishop to a3, which only postpone checkmate, or you go king to b6, um, uh, so, sorry, king to b7, and uh, now there's, uh, of course, just queen to b8 checkmate. So uh, that's why she resigned. But yeah, uh, very nicely done by Magnus, and I'm sure that uh, uh, if you guys were not aware of this line, maybe treating the Karakhan this way, not going for d4, but just e5, and then continuing like you've already played d4, uh, and then, you know, getting this tricky position with e6. And if your opponent doesn't know that it's okay to, uh, to allow white to capture on f7, uh, you might get a very dangerous uh, attack, and uh, yeah, you might win, win, um, win many bullet or blitz games. I might even try this in my rapid conquest that I'm doing on a daily basis if I if I face the Karo Khan although I, I I have been enjoying playing e4 and d4 I might give this knight to e2 e5 line a try that it does look like uh, you know it, it's possible to take down a very strong opponent with this and uh, yeah, now that we have access to clock times, you can see that Magnus uh, ends the game. Uh, sorry, not here. Uh, Magnus uh, ended the game uh, with uh, two minutes. Uh, uh, and 14 seconds on the clock, uh, so uh, didn't really take all that much uh, as, uh, you know, the position was very, very hard to play for black and it was easier to find moves and it's always easier to find moves when attacking than when defending. And you can see Polina ended the game with 17 seconds on the clock, so uh, it took really a lot of effort to, to find uh, moves that sort of defend the position, but we've said that the position was already lost on move 11, so not, uh, not an easy one. Uh, so yeah, once again, thank you guys for suggesting such a beautiful game. As usual, you can use hashtag suggestion suggestion when suggesting a game because that's how I filter the comments I write you know give me all the comments that contain hashtag suggestion and then I get your suggestions like this wonderful game here uh, so yeah and that's the game hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and that this line will help you win many blitz and bullet games online uh, I would like to thank David Gasparian, Grogu and Gnome, the Maximite Chess Club, uh, Huga Boy on Spotify and Rick Schaefer for your contribution to my channel thank you a lot I really appreciate it as usual you can check two of my previous videos here thank you for watching and I will see you soon continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions such as this one and continuing to cover everything that's happening in the chess world uh, so thank you all I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day